SSL VPN allows remote users to access a local network using a secure remote access VPN tunnel by encrypting the network traffic. Today, we'll talk about SSL VPN on RV340 series routers on this edition of Tech Talks. Next. We'll start by navigating to VPN and selecting SSL VPN. Here, we can turn on the Cisco SSL VPN server. This page will show the mandatory and optional gateway settings. We'll select the gateway interface and define the port that will be used for passing traffic through the SSL VPN tunnel. We can then choose a certificate file, which is used to authenticate remote users. We'll enter the IP address of the client address pool, netmask, and domain name. This pool is the range of IP addresses that will be allocated to remote users. It must not overlap with any of the IP addresses on the local network. The login banner will display each time a client logs in. Different timer values and the maximum MTU can be set under optional gateway settings. We can leave them as the default values or change them as needed. The Group Policies tab is used to apply whole sets of attributes to a single user or a group of users. This device comes with one default policy. We can either edit this policy or create a new one if needed. The basic settings of the group policy include the policy name, the IP address of the primary and secondary DNS server, the IP address of the primary and secondary WIN server, and a small description. We're also given the option to enable Internet Explorer proxy settings to establish the VPN tunnel. The options are None, which uses no proxy settings, Auto, which automatically detects the proxy settings, Bypass Local, which bypasses the proxy settings that are configured on the remote user, and Disable, which disables proxy settings. By default, it remains disabled. Next, we'll check the Enable Split Tunneling box to allow internet-destined traffic to be sent directly to the internet unencrypted. We can include or exclude the traffic when applying split tunneling. If enabled, enter the IP address, netmask, and domain to add split DNS exceptions. Once we're done, we'll click Apply to save the changes. And that's how to configure SSL VPN settings. Thanks for watching Tech Talks from Cisco. We'll see you next time.